Hi everyone. Today we'll see how to change valuation class of a material master. In this lecture, we'll see first what is a business scenario. Okay, then we'll see what is a change process and what are the prerequisites for valuation class change in a system. And at the end, we will discuss what is the impact of wrong valuation class. Okay. Let's see business scenario first. Uh, now, just consider there is one manufacturing industry. They are procuring raw materials. Okay. And for, uh, for raw materials, they are using material type as a Z raw. And in this Z raw material type, there are two valuation classes. One is for A grade materials and one is for C grade materials. For A grade materials, 2101 and for C grade materials, 2102. As we know that what is A grade materials and C grade materials. What is A grade materials? Means high value and less quantity. And what is the C grade materials? Less value and high quantity. Now, the scenario is that there is one material master created by end user with a valuation class 2101 and material is a flat washer. Okay. Means this is a wrong valuation class because flat washer is belong to C grade materials. So valuation class should be C grade materials. Now, as per the scenario, we need to change the valuation class of this material master to C grade materials. Okay. And one important thing here, suppose this question asked in an interview, okay, then explain this business process also, okay, and business scenario also, because don't explain only how to change valuation class, explain why we need to change valuation class, what are the cases, okay. Let's see the process of changing the valuation class in the system. Decode for changing valuation class is a MM02. Okay, MM0 is MM0 is for a change material. Okay. Enter T code MM02. Enter your material number which you are going to change valuation class. Then select use. Then select accounting one view. Then enter your plan. Okay. On accounting one view, you are you can see where what is valuation class. Okay. Let enter correct valuation class, which is a secret materials. Click on a secret materials. Okay. And click on save. Okay, what is the error here? The valuation class cannot be changed. Choose display error. Okay, click on display errors. Here, message is valuation class cannot be changed for the following reasons. First is a stock already exists, and second one is a purchase order already exists. Now, thing is that for changing the valuation class, there are some prerequisites. Okay, what are the prerequisites? Prerequisites are First, stock should be zero for this material. And second one is a open purchase order should not present. Okay, so this error, so that's why this error is coming. Okay, now to change valuation class, we need to nullify this stock first and we need to delete this purchase order. Okay, first what we'll do, we'll delete this purchase order. Purchase order means this This is an open purchase order. Okay, open purchase orders means what? For this material, purchase order is created, but still good receipt has not posted. Okay. Okay, I will select this purchase order. Go to AV22N. 
open your purchase order which is open for our material okay select the line item and delete it and save okay we have deleted this purchase order now the second prerequisite id is stock should be zero okay so we need to nullify the stock there are multiple method to nullify the stock what we will do we will post all the available stock to dummy cost center okay let's see how much stock is present in the system go to mmb enter your material material number here enter plant click on execute here you can see how much stock is present at a plant level on this material okay now we have to make this stock to zero for this we are using good issue to cost center that is a dummy cost center okay we are using dummy cost center here go to the bigo okay select good issue other moment type automatically will come to 201 which is good issue for cost center enter your material number enter the quantity total quantity enter your plant location and the micro center okay then click on check and post now check stock okay now the stock is zero okay we are not able to see any stock we have completed with both prerequisites deletion of purchase orders that is a deletion of open purchase orders and nullifying the stock now we can go for changing the valuation class okay let's see mm02 enter your material number select use enter your plant now enter your correct valuation plus here okay that is a secret materials and click on save okay this time system allowed to change let's see what is the impact of wrong valuation class okay For this, we should know what is the OBOIC setting and we should have knowledge of the automatic account determination in details. Okay. In simple words, I will explain. If the valuation class is wrong, suppose you are uh, performing subcontracting procurement, consignment procurement, or any stock transfer, or any, any transfer posting, or any good receipt, good issue, where the stock valuation is there. So all entries will post it to wrong GL account if the valuation plus is a wrong. Okay, that's why valuation plus should be correct. Uh, if you want detailed video on a OBIC setting and automated determination, mention in comment. Okay. Here we'll stop. Uh, and one important thing: if you feel this video is informative, then like it, share and subscribe. Okay, thank you.